I was drawn to was Kiss. Uh, and to see them, to see all the posters and memorabilia, and to see the faces, it made an impact to me where I was like, that's incredible. Who are these people? And next thing you know, I was listening to all the songs, listening to the music, collecting everything. It was just like, uh, I was almost an infatuation. First concert, of course, was Kiss, uh, the Dynasty Tour. See them live, and that made me even more. Uh, and then from then, I I felt like there was nothing in the world but. Kids. changed was there were two neighbors across the street from me, uh, older uh, teenagers, and I would go over their house and listen to them play. They had like a makeshift band and stuff. And I kept asking them, why aren't you playing any Kiss songs? Kiss songs or whatever. And they're like, Randy, there's more to music than Kiss. You know that, right? And I didn't know that. I said, I don't know. So he said, hey, he told his brother, go in, go in the house and get four albums and bring them to Randy. And then we'll see. We'll see how you like Kiss. The albums he brought me were this. Rush, 2112. Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell. Machine Head, Deep Purple. Led Zeppelin, The Ruins Up. I took those home. And my world was changed. No more Kiss is the best in the world. It opened my mind to so many So many things. But what I really keyed in on was all of the guitar. All of the guitar players. And that's what started the uh, uh, evolution of me. set it off for actually air guitar playing was the Prince song Let's Go Crazy. There were several different times that I would hear it. I would be at a certain event, dance, prom, and during at the end of the song when it goes into the uh, uh, guitar riff and solo, I would go crazy and, you know, emulate jump around, spin around, and everyone used to tell me, someday, all that's gonna pay off. And so, uh, here we go. Into the air guitar world.
I feel when I do the air guitar and what I want to convey to the audience. Number one, everybody wants to be a rock star. Everybody wants to be in a band. Everybody wants to be a performer. And I wasn't completely gifted in the musical realm. Uh, I do play guitar. Uh, I'm not incredible, but I do play guitar. But early on, I figured out that I don't think I can make a career. But so when I started doing air guitar, it was almost like I was able to become a band member or playing in a band, have that kind of, you know, backstage type thing, and then, you know, waiting for your cue and then get on stage. It had that kind of feel to it, which was incredible. I didn't really know that that was going to be. Um, the very first air guitar contest, um, we were all in our personas in, in the green room, and uh, the organizer said, hey, in about five minutes, this room is going to be flooded with media and photographers, so everybody be ready. So I thought they were just going to come in and like, we're going to sit down and they're going to ask us questions or whatever. The door opened and literally 20, 25, 30 people came in and set up all this stuff and, and they started doing uh, live feeds and they were interviewing all of us and it was incredible and I was like oh my god I actually feel like awesome. and uh, I'm like I don't want this feeling to go away and so every time that I perform uh, they always had some sort of element like that where they were interviewing or they were, uh, taking pictures or they wanted all to pose and so that was my thing about being a rock star. feel on stage is I try to transcend the song and the music and then I interpret it in, in a way where I think the audience can listen can see me and really feel like I'm really playing a guitar and really feel like they're watching you know a show and uh, just having a great time guitar community and the future well being a part of air guitar the community is quite wide worldwide and we're almost sort of a family um, we all cheer on each other we all want to do well and one of the things that I really felt like when I went to the semifinals in Chicago the camaraderie of everyone together 
everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to be on top. Everybody wants to do. But everybody wants everybody to do well. So there's no animosity. There's no uh, belittling. There's no uh, making fun of you or whatever. Everybody's together. When I started off, I didn't have a persona. I had several different personas. Um, but having my persona uh, changed the whole perspective because they knew I was coming. El Ariachi, here he is. He's coming. And then they see me and then they were like, yes. of our guitar looks very good. Our world champion is from New York City, so the U.S. is now on top. There, we had this year we had a lot of uh, U.S. representation in the world, and I think that's going to become a trend. So. And of course, my ultimate goal is to be in the world finals in Finland. I'd love to go to Finland. But I'd love to play on the huge stage in Finland, so I think it would be an honor.